Well, I'm a singer, and one of the most important things for a singer to do is um, warm up. And the way I was taught to warm up is you have to get your breathing sorted. So if you have a keyboard, um, what to do, or if you don't have a keyboard, you can find one on the internet. Put on your metronome, which is this one here, on what well, my keyboard it is. So I put that on, and then I change the tempo to 120. Oops, sorry. Change tempo to 120. Um, so it's like you can hear it. Listen. So, so it's doing that, and then what you do is you just um in time, obviously. You have to breathe in for four seconds, but well, four beats. Hold it for like hold the breath for four beats, and then go shh for as long as you can. But like count how long you can do it. And um, on my first lesson, I could only do it for twenty-five beats, which is it can be classed as a little bit. Um, so it wasn't that much compared to what I get now, because um, now I get a hundred and thirty-three beats. So it's a little bit different. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. I won't do the 133 because you'll get bored sitting watching me go shh for that long. So I'll just maybe do it for 20 beats. So you just go one, like after four. So one, two, three, four. You get the point. But one like major thing to remember is when you breathe, like when you take in your breath, don't do and lift up your shoulders. Don't breathe in from your chest, breathe in from your stomach. I don't think you can see my stomach with where the camera is. And it's not a nice thing. <laughs> um, so don't like breathe in using your diaphragm, which is just if you put your hands where your ribs are and find the bottom of your ribs and you'll find this like you'll feel a little squishy bit and that's your diaphragm. No matter how skinny you are, it will be squishy. That's your diaphragm and try and um, make sure that when you breathe in that goes out. This is getting annoying. When you breathe in, that goes out, and obviously when you breathe out, it um, comes in. So, because most people be like, like breathe in to try and make themselves like to suck in their stomach, but it's like, completely wrong. <laughs> so, once you've done that, another good thing to do is um, get the note. It depends where your voice is. Most people are in um, like that's this key here. I've put little things on the keys so you know which ones they are. So you play middle C which is this one and that's like a uh, so again with the metronome it's still 120 you breathe in for four seconds hold four beats sorry breathe in for four beats hold for four beats and then go uh, for as long as you can just like with shush well, shh. so you just do that and then another good thing to do is the scale of C and then sing the high C. So it would be breathe in before. So you just hold that note for as long as you can. And if you do that every every day or every time you start, to, you're going to sing. It um, really helps you because it'll improve all the time, like the amount you do it. Or you can also do it on the G major scale, so that'd be. Sorry, I missed the note there. But that's for people who have generally got lower voices, so they don't have to go. Ah! They can go. Ah! So it's a little bit easier. Um, and then you have just have to do the scales. Well, I was taught the scales. Just um, start on the middle C again. So start on the C and go. So you just want to play like those ones, um, and then just keep going up. So it'd be and like. Uh, then you go onto the G. Just keep doing that all the way up. And when I first start, um, when I first started singing, all I could do was that to that, which isn't a lot. 
and now I can do this to way off the keyboard I need to put on like transpose and everything to make it high enough for me to sing. So you just have to do that and that's basically the warm up. Um, if you have any questions or other things, oh, um, tongue twisters, they're really good. Um, just like alliteration and stuff, not alliteration, that's the wrong word, that's something to do with skill, ignore me there. But yeah, tongue twisters to make sure you like, um, say all your words when you're singing songs that have got a quick bit in them. Just again, use the metronome, um, change the tempo, so keep going up, maybe start at like 140, which is this. And then just say a phrase like um, when I was taught was one smart fellow he felt smart two smart fellows they felt smart three smart fellows they felt smart and they all felt smart together you have to try and not say smell far um, it's quite difficult but then you just keep going up 10 every time so it's 140 150 160 all the way up and see how fast you can do it and um, there's but there's all the like usual ones like um, Oh, now I've forgotten them. Like Unique New York and Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry and She Sells, Sea Shells, that one. Just do loads of them, like, all to the beat. And if you get bored of just, like, talking and talking, like I'm doing right now, <laughs> um, a good song to that's really quick is um, Stone Cold Crazy by Queen. And just, like, get the words and then just sit with it in front of you. Like, obviously listen to the tunes, you know the tune. And then just sing it to the beat but then keep going faster and faster and faster so you're not just singing so you're not just talking all the time so you're actually singing and you're practicing that but do that so if there's like a song and there's a tricky line in that get that line and just make it like faster than it is in the song so that you can properly sing it and it's understandable in the song so I think that's about it if you have any questions or if you have any tips for me about like other ways you can warm up and like that um, just leave a comment and I'll make do another video or just answer it. <laughs> okay, thank you!